Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This particular reading is going to be a collective reading for anyone who comes across it and feels that intuitive nudge to watch. The sensation that I got was that someone out there needs a message perhaps of guidance to assist them through their awakening journey, through their ascension process, and perhaps through an energetic shift that they are experiencing right now that is assisting them to level up, but it hasn't been easy. Because there's sometimes aspects of the journey where we're leveling up, we're transmuting difficult energy in order to change into someone new. And that weird space of in-between, of leaving the old version of you behind and integrating yourself into the new isn't always the most pleasant. So the feeling here was that somebody needs a message of guidance, assistance, an encouraging word perhaps, I don't know, to assist them through their awakening and ascension journey at this particular moment in their life. And that's what I'm going to deliver here with a few different oracle card systems that I have. I'm going to be using the Light Seers Tarot as well. So let's start off with the Sacred Traveler Oracle. And let me make sure. Yeah, I don't have the whole deck upside down. Whoa, okay. All right, there's one card. I was just double checking that I didn't have the whole deck upside down because I have a tendency to to grab randomly and not check. <laughs> so let's see, we have one card there. I wanted at least one. Okay, one more. Wow. Okay, so let, let's address this first. We have crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. And then look what you're crossing into, the gates of triumph, success expands in your life. Do you see that? So you're crossing the bridge from the old, right? Into the gates of triumph, which bring you success and expansion in your life. I think that's incredible. And the feeling here I want to say to you is that you should be proud of yourself, right? For being able to actually cross over that bridge and get to a point where you're able to let it go, put it behind you. Once you cross over fully and you walk through these beautiful gates of triumph and success, okay? Spirit is saying you will have your success on the other side of the bridge that you're crossing over at this time. Because that's what that is. The feeling here is, is that the symptoms and experiences and the challenges that you're going through right now on the ascension journey is actually the process of you crossing over from the old to the new. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. Once you cross over fully, right, and you get to the other side, you can consider yourself healed, mended, and fully free of the things in the past. And this aligns well with what I was feeling and sensing was that there's a an integration, right? There's an old version of you you're leaving behind and you're becoming a new version of yourself and that's not always comfortable it's it's sometimes challenging that's part of the ascension it's part of the leveling up you're shedding old aspects of self and becoming something new and the difficult part is crossing the bridge from the old into the new but the beautiful thing is is that what waits awaits you on the other side of this journey that you're experiencing right now or this this ascension and awakening process that doesn't feel comfortable what's on the other side of this is your triumph your success your healing your mending your releasing and so much more expansion taking place in your life because you're free right you're free and you're i guess the word is uninhibited Right? There's nothing to get in, there's nothing to get in your way or to hinder you. I think this is confirmation that even though it may feel uncomfortable in that weird space in between, right? That liminal space between old and new, past and future, 
you are still headed in the right direction. What's wonderful about this card is that you have the sunshine, right? And the thing about this also is that you see how there's like the dark, right? You're coming out of the dark. You're stepping out of the shadow. Maybe you did the shadow work. And you have the dark areas here, but you're crossing over that threshold into the sun, into the sunshine, into good vibes, in good, into good times, right? Because the sun represents success, well-being, happiness, thriving, right? Where everything feels good, is looking up. So this is basically saying there's a positive, there's something positive to look forward on the other side of whatever it is you're experiencing right now on the journey. And the feeling is here to reassure you that things are going to be brighter. Things are going to be looking up brighter days. Brighter days do, you know, exist ahead of you. Okay. Um, and that you're just crossing over the threshold from one aspect of self into another and your healing is on the other side of it. Your success is on the other side of it. Your triumph over previous adversity is on the other side of this right now. So let's grab some tarot here to see what else we can get from this message. I feel like it's beautiful. It's positive already. Um, another thing is it's like there's a light or a lantern, right? He's holding a lantern. So there's a lantern ahead of you. So even though, right, like I say with the moon energy, you, you might be walking by the light of the moon. You might feel like you're walking in the dark. There is light, right? And there's intuitive energy around you, spirit, that connection to spirit on the inside. Basically, your GPS system of the soul is always ready to nav help you navigate. Um, and you do have the light ahead of your feet, okay? So the light of spirit is guiding the way to help you arrive at your triumph, your success, your well-being, your expansion, your healing. Let's see if we can get just three cards at least. Another thing I just felt was um, don't let appearances right now in the moment fool you. Okay. Because if anything feels challenging right now, don't let that, don't let that fool you, okay? It, they always say it's darkest before the dawn, right? And there's always light at the end of the tunnel. And it feels like you're crossing through that portal and that tunnel, which may seem a little dark right now, but you're crossing through it at this time. But don't let that, don't let the dark or the shadow or... That unknown feeling or uncertain feeling like you're walking into the unknown. Don't let that fool you. Don't let it set you back either is the guidance here. Let's see if we can get two more cards. Whoa, look at that. And the Six of Swords. Let's see. Let's see what the other cards say. The Wheel. Oh, yes, the Emperor. And you have the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is also confirming this energy, right? Because the Six of Swords can talk about healing and moving forward. It's, it's forward movement. And it's also an energy with the number six of alignment and balance. You see, look, here's the turn of the wheel with the Wheel of Fortune. Something is shifting and changing. It's a transition at this time. That's total confirmation of going from one state of being to another, from the old into the new. It's a change and transitionary card. And remember when I was saying how, like, don't let appearances fool you. Just because you might feel uncertain and you have no idea where things are taking you or where you're going and... It feels like you're walking in the dark, right? That same energy applies to the wheel because oftentimes the wheel is that feeling of like you're at the casino. I always use the analogy of the casino. You're at the casino, there's a roulette wheel, 
They throw the ball, the ball is up in the air. You have no idea where it's gonna land. Just like, you know, you feel like you're walking through the dark, right? You have no idea where you're going or you feel like you don't have any idea where you're going. The same thing applies. You have no idea which way the, the ball is going to land or on what number it's gonna fall. And for that moment, you feel kind of up in the air, right? And there's a shift because it, any, it could go either way, right? It could go either way. So again, the guidance here was to say, you know, don't let appearances fool you just because you're not, you feel like right now you're not seeing your way or you feel like you have no sense of direction. Don't let that fool you. Don't let it set you back either. Because that weird feeling of being up in the air or in between worlds, right? The old and the new. That feeling of being in the in-between is that of the wheel. It's because something is shifting and changing and it's where the universe oftentimes is able to, right, redirect and reroute us to what's best for us. It's that feeling, yes, of being up in the air. I don't know if that's helping with the lighting, but it's that feeling of like being up in the air for the moment. But just know, the ball will eventually land. And it's going to land you and put you and place you where you're meant to be. And for a moment, the Wheel of Fortune card gives us, you know, or tells us basically, surrender. Let spirit take the wheel. Let the universe take the wheel and I'll allow yourself to be directed or rerouted or um, placed on the path that you're meant to be on. Because the emperor wants to be in control, right? But the wheel is saying, well, destiny's trying to take you somewhere. Destiny's trying to put you on the path where you're meant to be with the wheel. And if you can relin relinquish just a tiny bit of control, okay? You're not unstable, by the way, not with the emperor. You are completely safe and secure. But if you could just allow yourself to be in flow as these things shift and happen and change around you, as you grow, as you level up, as you heal, as you mend, just have more, like a little bit more um, compassion for yourself through the process, right? You become more in flow. You become more of being in a flow state. And that'll make the transition and the shift and the passage, okay? I'm saying passage because of the Six of Swords. The passage into this new version of you, that much easier. We know that you're crossing over from one aspect to another. We see that that's a journey, the Six of Swords. The Emperor is indicating safe passage here with these two cards. You are safe, you're secure. It's a number four. Stability. You're safe and secure as you journey, as you travel. With the Six of Swords. What's beautiful, though, is that the emperor is kind of like giving this feeling of confidence at the same time. So know that it feels like on the other side of this is, is so much more confidence in yourself and in your journey and, and where you're headed. Because the Six of Swords is definitely going somewhere. So if you can just get through this feeling of being up in the air and trust the process of what Spirit is trying to do for you. Trust the process of this experience. Hey everyone, sorry about that. It looks like my phone overheated. Um, and I lost a lot of what I was saying because it stopped recording. Um, so what I was saying is that this is a journey of expansion for you, right? And sometimes on the journey, when we're walking, we feel like we're walking through the dark and we have no idea where things are taking us and life sometimes seems like it's throwing us a curveball, it can shake our confidence a bit, right? 
But the emperor is saying here that you're stable, you're secure, and this is going to help you trust yourself, your journey moving forward that much more. So again, the guidance here was not to allow it to set you back and shake up your foundation in a way where you lose confidence in yourself because the feeling is here is that this is going to show you that you can trust the process. You can trust the process of where you're going, where you're headed, and where this is all taking you. The Wheel of Fortune is that energy again where it's like you have something falling off the wheel, right? And the falling off of the wheel, whatever that's falling off, it's, it's the releasing, right? It is the releasing and letting go of things. Something has to fall off the wheel in order to make room for new. In order to lead you to something better, right? Sometimes we got to get rid of things that aren't working. That could be literally, figuratively, whatever it is that isn't working anymore is what's being let go. Whatever aspects of self that don't apply to the person you're about to be, right? That's what's being let go. It's to free you up. And it's in that weird space of like, all these shifts and changes and the letting go of things that we can sometimes feel wobbly, right? But spirit with the emperor here saying you're safe, you're secure on this new journey. You're safe into the new. You're safe as you let these things go. You're secure. Don't let the feeling of up in the air or the curveballs that life is maybe throwing at you at this time through the shift and change and ascension, right? Don't allow that to knock your confidence because you are safe. You are and do have safe passage into the new, into the things that are more aligned with you, with the number six of the six of swords. So again, I'm sorry. I hope I'm not sounding like I'm repeating myself, but I did lose a lot. I, lo I probably lost a good five minutes of talking. Um, just know that you are moving in the right direction of those things that are more in alignment with you and you're safe and you're protected the whole way through. The Six of Swords is leading you to calmer, more peaceful territory where the tumultuous things in life are finally behind you. Safe water, smooth water, smooth sailing is what the Six of Swords brings. So you're moving into a period of smooth sailing. Safely into this new chapter of life where things will go a lot more smoother than perhaps what you're experiencing right now. Safe, secure, and where everything is smooth sailing. Okay, and moving in the direction of those things that are more in alignment with you. It's getting rid of the things that, again, aren't anymore, that aren't a vibrational match to you. That's what the wheel is doing right now. It's knocking those things out of the way. It's getting rid of those things that are not a vibrational match and or aligned with who you are becoming and where you're going moving forward. I really feel, you know, good about the emperor being here. Especially being in the middle. You know, you have two major arcanas here, the wheel and the emperor, but the emperor in the middle there is just saying that you're safe, secure, solid through the changes. There's nothing that's going to hurt you, hinder you, block you from where you're meant to go, what you're meant to do, where you're meant to be with the Six of Swords or who you're meant to become. So let's see. I'm going to grab from the Starseed Oracle. Moving forward, you're just going to trust yourself through whatever wobble, right, that you may be feeling or experiencing. You're going to learn to trust yourself through any sense of, or feeling of instability, 
right? Because sometimes when the ball is up in the air, it can feel quite uncertain and unstable and shaky ground, right? But this is about you learning to, to trust. And that is going to help you build your confidence that much more into the future. Okay, what was that? Hold on. Look at that. Whoa, okay, okay. I don't know if you can see that. I want to make sure. Okay, it says free spirit. It says, to be a free spirit is to float without walls, to fly without judgment, and to love without conditions. And then it says, inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. So again, the feeling is here if you're feeling uncertain about anything in your life, right? Go into a place of love. Tap into your, your inner being, right? And the solid foundation that, you know, is always there within you through spirit, right? Right? You are probably going through a transmutative process right now as you go through your ascension journey. And you have to get to a point of alignment and equilibrium, right? It's weird how even when we're walking, you know, on the journey and it, it seems uncertain, like we can't see the way ahead, right? We don't have to, res we don't have to react or respond. To that feeling of uncertainty. We don't have to give that our energy. We can be like the emperor and not let it phase us. Okay. And that does take inner alchemy. And that's maybe some guidance here as well. Don't respond to the fear. Don't give that your energy. Because what awaits you on the other side is. All the things that are meant for you. And when you don't give it your energy, you do liberate yourself from the fear. You allow, again, free spirit. You allow spirit to lead you where it needs to lead you. It says to be a free spirit is to float without walls, to fly without judgment, and to love without conditions. Yeah, allow yourself to, self to just flow, right? To be in a flow state. Allow spirit to just help guide you, right? Where you're meant to be and just release resistance through the process of this. And don't respond to the things happening around you that will try to dictate how you should feel. You're crossing over from the old to the new and you're freeing yourself in the process. See if we can get a card here. Whoa. Okay. All right. So it says inner worlds. Your external world is a reflection of your inner world. Okay. Also, let's flip the script on that. Because we don't have to allow our external world, right? The things happening in our external to also dictate how we feel on the inner world. Okay? So if your inner world is calm, cool, collected, stable, and secure, like the emperor, right? Then nothing outside of you can affect you. Vice versa. We also don't want to let the outside world affect what's going on in our inner world. We don't want to react to the outside world to the point where it messes our vibe, right? So if you can stabilize your vibe, not react to the things happening around you, and find your stability and security within, right? You'll have the strength, the power of the emperor energy to get through the wobble, right, of the shift that you're currently experiencing. So let's see if we can get a final oracle card for this. I have the Sacred Destiny Oracle. Ooh, 
Whoa. That's way too many. And I'm going to read directly from the book, okay? I just need one card. One card. I think that was like two or three. There we go. Let's see what we have here. Wow. Delight. All right, let's see what it says. If I can find it. All right. Sparrows in the spring grass. It says, the sparrow gains its power from its numbers. It, in clusters, sparrows eat in forage and predators are distracted and deterred, even intimidated. By their numbers, intimidated by their numbers. Security and joy in numbers is a lesson of the sparrow. Within their community, sparrows are always busy living life fully. Many cultures align the meaning of the sparrow with joy and in Middle Ages, the sparrow was thought to relieve suffering, help one triumph over hardships, and bring joy. There you go. You see that? Gates of triumph. So the sparrow was thought to relieve suffering. So any suffering of whatever it is you're experiencing right now, challenges, difficulty through the ascension process. There you go. The sparrow was thought to relieve suffering and help one triumph, right? over hardships and bring joy so again a period of joy is on the other side of whatever it is that you're currently experiencing whatever curveball upheaval uh challenges that you're facing right now through your ascension journey um success right there's lots of expansion on the other side where things are going to start opening up to you because the portal now is open for you to receive and triumph over previous ad previous adversity which then will bring and expand more joy and delight into your world okay so let's see what else it says the sacred landscape landscape wants you to know delight is expanding in your life so again expansion right talk about confirmation there you go delight is expanding in your life yeah, success expands in your life. Triumph expands in your life. Love expands in your life. Like all good things are starting to expand in your life, right? It's just the, the challenging part of getting through this last hurdle to arrive at it, right? To cross the bridge and finally let it out, let it go and get that, all those things out of your way. Um, but it says, I'll keep going. It says, clap your hands it says, clap your hands with glee, spend time with others, go to a community gathering, host a party. The joy you experience will give birth to immense creativity and your life will blossom. So you're coming into full bloom now, right? It says, share your happiness and elation with others and it will grow by leaps and bounds. This isn't the time to be serious or buckle down and get to work. This is a time to be spontaneous and madcap. Do not make hard and fast commitments. Don't sign any legal documents or make any pledges right now. Don't make any promises or you might not be able to keep them. Give yourself permission to have some fun. Let loose, right? Free yourself. Be that free spirit, right? Give yourself permission to have fun. Lots of fun, especially in community with others. So spirit is saying here, now that the hard times, right, are getting out of the way, don't commit to anything. Don't, don't take, don't step into that vibration of taking life too seriously, right? Because this is your, this is your freedom. This is about living your life to the fullest now that these things are behind you or these challenges or whatever it is that you're facing is finally behind you. You can find yourself free to explore, right? And find joy in your daily life because you're not hindered anymore. You're not, the feeling also is stifled. All right. So you're not, you're not stifled anymore. You're not held back anymore. You're not in the dark anymore. You can put the shadow work behind you now because the tough, the tough times are finally behind you. It feels like, and now that this is, you know, getting out of the way and you're 
about to see the light at the end of the tunnel, Spirit wants you to find more fun and more joy in your life any way that you can because you know what? It, you deserve it. You deserve it. You've put a difficult chapter or cycle in your life behind you. And you deserve more. I hear pleasant trees. That's such an old-fashioned word. Wow. Okay. You deserve more pleasant trees in your life. So to finish this off, I'm going to grab some angel numbers for you. Um, if you're not familiar with my channel, I rolled the dice to get more additional, I guess, to get additional messages for you. Um, they may confirm some things I've already said in this reading. That happens a lot. Um, or they may actually bring an additional message to you that you need personally for your journey right now in this moment. I don't recommend a source or give you a shortcut to a link to look up the numbers because I want you to take the journey to find the number interpretation for yourself because I know that sometimes when you take the journey to research the numbers, you can come across other signs and serendipity and synchronicity spirit needs you to find. If I gave you a shortcut, I might rob you of that experience of finding that magic and I don't want that to happen. So likewise, I, I always tell everybody not to put the number interpretation in the comment section for this same reason. We want everybody to take the journey to find their own magic. So with all that being said, Star Family, let's go ahead and see what numbers come up for you. All right, so we have seven. Six, eight, seven, sixty-eight is your number. By the way, I forgot to mention Emperor's Aries energy in case you have that somewhere dominant in your chart. Just throwing that out there. Uh, seven, sixty-eight is your angel number. Go ahead and look up that angel number. See what that brings to you. If you feel that this message has helped you uh, in some magical way, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Again, I apologize for technical difficulties. I don't have the newest phone, <laughs> just put it that way. It's a very old iPhone um, and I do the best that I can with what I have. Um, anyhow, like, share and subscribe to support this channel. You wanna take it a step further to support what I do, please visit me on Etsy. Check out my Etsy shop. I have handmade crystal jewelry there that I make by hand all my free time. Uh, much love to you wherever you are. Take care of yourself. Most importantly though, always keep shining.